Well, of course, when the guests first arrive, they've come off the plane, we've collected them at the airport, we've brought them through the gates of Lyford Quay. We're hoping when they come in the house that they're gonna feel this sort of sense of, of wonder and happiness and air and breeze and some scent and maybe the music is on and crisply made beds and everything is sort of tidy and hopefully they're gonna think, wow, this really has um, been a wonderful idea to come here. I'm Amanda Lindroth. I'm an interior designer based in the Bahamas, and you're at my house, Hope Hill. I arrived in the Bahamas about 30 years ago, and I never left. It was like I found a dream place and, and couldn't leave. So we bought the house about 13 years ago, and we did got to renovate it. We changed all the surfaces. The house had been designed by a very good architect called Henry Mellick, and Henry was a complete classicist. So the house had incredibly good bones, but it had been built at a weird time in the Bahamas where there weren't particularly great builders or great materials. It was about 1979, 1980. The house had sliding glass doors. It had hollow core interior doors that were low. It had a lot of poor finishes, but the bones were marvelous. So we really uh, took it back to the bones. We hired Maria de la Guardia, our favorite architect from Miami, and uh, Maria did these incredibly fanciful drawings. We sort of drew inspiration from Oliver Messel's houses in, the, in Barbados, particularly Fustic House and, and Lemington, these houses where Messel took these sort of Palladian ideas but follied them up with his own sort of joy, and this house is very inspired by that. That is so funny. Hi, friend. When we were designing this house um, for our own use, I sort of looked at the major good houses in the Caribbean for inspiration. We looked back at Good Hope Plantation, a very beautiful house in Jamaica that was probably the most important Palladian building ever built in the 18th century in the Caribbean. And then you look at the modern versions, Heron Bay, built by the Tree family in Barbados in the 40s. And of course, the famous house that Oscar de la Renta built in Punta Cana in the 1980s. These are all houses that really gave me inspiration about how a beautiful, substantial house would have been been appointed, for example, in the Caribbean, and therefore we brought in the Coralina stone walls for this house, the beautiful wide plank dark floors. We added all of these layers and textures of houses before us. My favorite room in the house is really the veranda. If that could be considered a room, I think so. It's certainly the most important room in this house because we eat there, we play cards there, we converse there, we have cocktails there, we have coffee there, I gossip with my friends there. Um, and so and it has this extraordinary, beautiful view of the sea, of the Life Key Club, of the golf course. So it's a place for, it's really, a, it's a place of dreams, actually. It's a dreamy place. And in this house, they had sliding doors when we bought it. But I didn't want an ugly sliding door, I wanted a French door. But the, the veranda is so narrow, it's only 10 feet deep. And a, 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 the swing on a French door going out would have taken all the real estate. We would have had no actual functioning veranda. So in this case, we designed these, uh, these bi-folding French doors to come into the drawing room, into the living room. So we have all 11 feet free for all the different things we need to do on that veranda. One of the joys of living in the islands is entertaining and having house guests and, and having a house that's really abundant and wonderful for that purpose. But I have a house that's, you know, has tons of, of, of parties and people coming through and guests coming. And it is, it's sort of part of the DNA of this house and part of the DNA of me to have this sort of level of, of joy and happiness and people visiting and playing cards and playing chess. It's, it's pretty wonderful, this house. My favorite part of entertaining is that moment, right when the guests are about to arrive, the music's on, the candles are lit, the table is sparkly. You know, we always tend to go out and steal bougainvillea from our neighbor's gardens. We don't have any, but we always have it coming flying out of our chandeliers. So watch out, neighbors, if, if yours is missing. It, I, it's full admission, we've gotten it. But that moment, you kind of sweep through the room and it's, all of a sudden, the party's just about to start. I think that's my favorite part.
One thing that's in all my houses, and certainly is all over Hope Hill, is rattan and wicker. They're sort of my signature thing. I, I've always loved using them. I grew up in South Florida, and so they represent something cherished in my childhood, but they also represent leisure. And you know, I'm a decorator who's working largely on houses for people at leisure. And so this idiom of the, the, the rattan and wicker, whether it's natural or it's got a couple coats of paint on it, it sort of represents people sitting on a veranda, it's being in their sunroom, a, a moment of leisure, of reading, of contemplation, of, of happiness, of celebration. It's littered throughout my house in many idioms. When I was working out the colors for Hope Hill, I really looked to Oliver Messel in Barbados. Oliver Messel was an English set designer who moved to Barbados in the 60s and started renovating older houses there. He brought this kind of classical whimsy to the houses, and for some reason, all of his houses had green shutters, green uh, balustrades, green follies added to them. And so it's known as Oliver Messel Green in Barbados. In our house, it's Benjamin Moore South Field green and it it coats up basically everything that gets mildewed in this house. If an old rattan chair needs a second life, we scrub it down and we give it a coat of green paint. And the, sort of the, the green became really the envelope of the exterior of the house. And then inside I used my characteristic blue and whites and, and tans and natural things. We have a lot of guests in this house, and I hope that when they go home to their families or see their friends back in the States or in England or wherever they're going back, to, that they would describe a, a holiday at Hope Hill as something that was full of laughter and yummy food and being looked after. I mean, I think um, that's a really important quality when you're a hostess, is that your guests feel that they've been looked after, that they've been taken care of, and, and um, so that's what I would hope.